They keep children who walk to school safe, but some crossing guards may soon be losing their jobs. The city of Meriden wants to eliminate nine positions, and parents are outraged. News 8's Bob Wilson is live in Hartford with that story tonight. Bob? There are a lot of upset people in Meriden. However, it is a delicate balance. The city is in the whole millions, and they're trying not to raise taxes and caught in the middle, not only the crossing guards, but the firefighters and librarians. So tonight, we set out and watched one guard do his work. Yeah. So I don't understand how they could eliminate this position, especially in a grammar school. John Zakirowitz has been a crossing guard at Cheshire and May in Meriden for 10 years. Okay. Before that, he was a corrections officer for the state of Connecticut for nearly 30 Thank years. You. And when they first come out of that door there, the first door there, it reminds you of the yellow brick road, the little munchkins. And you feel kind of protective. I mean, I look around for st stragglers. I look around for anybody that's suspicious. He has delivered hundreds of children safely every week to and from school. During the blizzard, all that snow, people don't do their sidewalks, so the kids had no choice but to walk in the, in, the, in the street. Now, while John says he's had a lot of close calls over the years, he's had the most recent close call as of this morning. These signs are brand new. They were put in Friday. Somebody, a truck, came along, took the turn too tight, and picked off the sign, knocked it over right in the middle of the road. He says it's more common than you'd think. I tie kids' shoelaces when the time comes. A kid falls down. There was a bloody nose at one time. Another little girl is only in second grade. She comes back in tears because she's locked out of the house. How can anybody put a value on a child just because of budget constraints? I don't know who grasped me. <laughs> He's not going to be there if they cut his position. Uh, then I don't know who's going to do it. Who's going to do it? Like. Nobody's here. And while Yusuf has no answers, the answer at City Hall is hard. They're looking to cut nine crossing guards in this year's budget. But as you look out at the audience at the City Council meeting, you see more than just crossing guards. You see firefighters and librarians. The list is long. It's a public hearing, and they're all there to protect their jobs. Everything's on the table because we just can't, um, you know, put it all on the back of another tax increase. It is a very difficult situation in Meriden. John's job is on the line. He's one of the positions that's expected to be eliminated. There's an entire firehouse on the chopping block, and the vote has to be taken by May 6th. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in Hartford, News 8.